Well, I was driving through town and I saw the museum sign. I'm visiting from Illinois and I thought, oh, I'll just turn and go check out the museum. And as I pulled up, I thought to myself, wow, I'm a day late. Julie Jean will not get a chance to see what was inside this 130 year old Wise County Museum. It's a total loss after a fire swept through early Saturday morning. It's a big piece of my history. I remember going through there when I was a kid and loving every minute of it. David Parrish is talking about the Wise County Heritage Museum. Approximately 50 firefighters responded to the three-story building around 1 a.m. After forcing entry, it was just inside of 30 minutes we had to call to evacuate the structure and go defensive. A blaze too strong to contain. The cause is unknown, according to Decatur Fire Department. It was a beloved part of our community. Museum staff says, fortunately, decades of Wise County archives had already been saved online, but that's only a portion of what the museum showcased. All the artifacts and things that have been collected, it's just a devastation. Artifacts such as ones once belonging to the Lost Battalion, a group of World War II soldiers, many from Texas, who were captured by the Japanese until the end of the war. Some died while in captivity. You can't replace the things that were in that building. There was a whole lot more, a loss extending to ones beyond Wise County. It's a national one due to the level of collections and artifacts and information that this building held for so long. The museum director says most of the artifacts were uninsured. Because we had no valuation to place on so many things, they were priceless. But we do have insurance on the structure and on our business equipment inside. What was inside must live on through memories. Nothing but ruins. A devastating scene for this community. So I am sorry that I have missed it. And even the ones just hours late to visit for the first time. Very sad to see something like this that obviously has a long history be destroyed. Reporting, David Cententry, Fox 4 News.